Hey boys and girls, it's Mrs. Crane. I hope you are all doing well, staying safe and staying healthy. I hope that you've been having fun working on these art projects and I've been really impressed with some of the work that I've been seeing. Keep up the amazing work. For our next project, we are going to be creating a mobile. Here we have a few examples of mobiles that artists have made. As you can see, they are hanging pieces of art. And what's really cool is that you can use all kinds of materials and they can make really cool shadows and lots of beautiful colors. For this project, you're going to need some paper, some yarn, or some string. You're also going to need some scissors, some glue, and if you don't have glue, you can use tape. You're also going to use either markers, colored pencils, crayons, paint, whatever you guys have. The first thing you're going to do is you're going to start out by drawing some shapes. You want to make them kind of big. This circle takes up about half the page. After you draw your shape, you're going to cut it out. You are going to make about four shapes total. If you want to make more, you can. I decided that I wanted to make a cutout in this shape. So what I did was I folded it in half, kind of like a taco, and then you're going to cut out a smaller circle. Make sure that you are cutting on the folded edge. With a different colored paper, I am going to make another shape. This time I'm going to make a half circle. Again, remember to make your shapes big. Just like your other circle, you're going to cut this shape out. I am now going to start my next shape. This time I'm going to make a rectangle. To make your shapes interesting, you could also put a border around them. From Just like your other shapes, you're going to cut this one out. You can also make smaller shapes to put on in the inside of your bigger shapes if you choose to. You are going to continue drawing your shapes until you have all the shapes that you'd like. After you're done cutting out all of your shapes, you're then going to add some patterns. You can decide how you want to add your patterns. You can use any kind of line or shape and you can use markers, colored pencils, or crayons, whatever you have. With the extra scraps that you have, you can also cut them up so that you can use them to glue on to parts of your mobile. Once you're done cutting out all your shapes and putting on all those designs, you're then going to start gluing it onto your string. Now remember, you want to make sure that you have the bottom of your pieces facing up so that you can glue the string to the back of these pieces.
Once you're done gluing on all your pieces, you can then also take some of the extra scraps and add them on to what you have already put on there. Another important thing to remember is that once you're done, make sure that before you pick it up, you have to let it dry. Once your project is dry, you're ready to hang it up. Take a look at how cool that looks. Once you hang it up, make sure you take a picture. Can you guys see all the cool shadows that are being made in the background? I can't wait to see what yours looks like. I hope you guys have so much fun working on it.